an assistant professor of department of EC. Now I would like to um, tell the basic principle behind an unstable multi-word letter. It is one type of uh, regenerative circuit. Um, in this, we mainly we have two different types of state. Uh, uh, one is permanent state and second one is temporary state. But in the case of an unstable multi-word letter, we have two temporary states. Now coming to the working of uh, a basic uh, stable multi vibrator uh, when the uh, circuit is switched on one transistor will be driven to saturation that is into the on step other will be driven to cut off now consider q1 is on and q2 is off during this time capacitor c2 is charging to uh, vcc through a resistor uh, r q2 is off due to the negative uh, voltage from the discharging capacitor C1 which is charged during the previous cycle. So the off time of Q2 is determined by um, R1 C1 of the Q1 transistor. After the time period determined by R1 C1 time constant uh, of the capacitor C1 and now the C1 discharges completely and uh, starts charging in the reverse direction. Uh, here I am showing that a way of uh, charging of the C1 and uh, this is the charging path. When the capa capacitor charges uh, uh, to voltage sufficiently, uh, it provides uh, 0.7 volts to the base of the Q2 transistor. Uh, immediately the transistor Q2 is uh, turns on and the capacitor C2 discharges in this direction. Uh, a negative voltage from the capacitor uh, C2 turns off the transistor uh, Q1 and the capacitor C1 starts charging from VCC through a resistor R. And the base emitter of the transistor Q2, transistor Q2, the transistor Q2 remains in the on state. So in that state we have an output like this. So, uh, parallelly the uh, output of the transistor 1, that means Q1, uh, exhibits uh, a high voltage at the uh, collector of Q1 transistor. In the, as in the previous state, when the capacitor C2 discharges completely like this, uh, it starts charging towards the uh, opposite direction through a resistor. R2. When the voltage across the capacitor C2 is sufficiently uh, uh, enough to turn on the transistor Q1, Q1 turns on and capacitor C1 starts discharging. This process continues and produces a rectangular wave like this either at the collector of the on transistor or at the off transistor. So like this, on and off states are alternatively produced without using any external signal. So this type of oscillator is called as uh, a free running oscillator.